guys I thought I would make a quick video here uh, on a, uh, again something unrelated to uh, Hackintosh or running Mac on a PC whatever you want to call it um, so this will help uh, PC and Mac users alike <clears throat> so I know uh, browsing privately is a uh, is a big thing these days and you know with us being tracked by everything it basically you know the government advertisers google our phones um it, it's good to mitigate our you know uh, footprint as much as possible if we can help it and a lot of these methods that you end up using um sometimes they end up being slow or they have a you know la it, basically they prevent you from doing some of the things that you normally do when you are on the internet <clears throat> uh, some of those things might include uh, Tor which you know works but there's obvious security holes in there the government knows how to basically look at Tor browsing and Browsing on Tor ends up being very slow. You can use VPN, um, which does help, but there are certain ways that uh, your IP address and your thereby your information can be leaked, even if you are using a VPN. So, <clears throat> you know, most people what they end up doing is using incognito mode, mode on their web browser or private browsing, whatever you call it. Uh, depending on the browser and you know they think that's uh, enough well I mean it's enough in the in the sense that well if somebody else uses this computer they won't easily be able to discover your web browsing history and stuff like that but in terms of being tracked by advertisers the government uh, and other interested parties like Google then uh, you're out of luck and, and your ISP as well I forgot to mention um, so I found this application which is a web browser is which is basically a good balance between uh, being able to do what you want on the internet and not you know being limited into what as to what you can do and where you know what br uh, websites you can visit so um, the web browser here is called Epic Privacy. It's called Epic Privacy Browser, um, just Epic for short. And uh, it's down here in my doc. Let's just open it up. Uh, I'll link you guys a website. But uh, this is what it looks like when you first load it up. Um, give me a second here while it. Uh, so now it's fully loaded, and you can see it distinctly looks like. Google Chrome because it's based on the same the same code Chromium um, so you know you're getting the reliability of Google Chrome when you're running this web browser and the first thing you'll notice uh, at the bottom here is it tells you um, the tracker the number of trackers that it has blocked so this web browser provides you protection from Google even your ISP which incognito mode uh, will not give you protection against uh, the government other data collectors and depending on where you're browsing from your employer as well and it uses a built-in proxy which you can toggle on and off up here uh, you can see the plug switch uh, to hide your location encrypt your connection and even allow you to browse websites that may be blocked on your your particular network um, and this is all for free there's no ads on this website this company does not sell your data um, so yeah yeah I mean basically you can uh, you just browse normally if you want uh, you can go to YouTube it um, even has a built-in tool to anonymously let you download videos uh, off the internet and it also obviously it doesn't uh, it deletes your web browsing history it prevents tracking cookies um, I mean basically 
this is a if anybody who's concerned about their online history being tracked should be using this web browser and you can see as soon as I hit YouTube it uh, it blocked two trackers already just for, by me visiting the site um, so it tells you when it, it has blocked a tracker um, and if in the case that a certain site doesn't load properly there's this button up here uh, this umbrella icon you can uh, by default um, Epic has certain settings that it does to protect your privacy but sometimes websites won't load so sometimes you can uh, kind of mix and match, disable something or enable something that is maybe preventing a, uh, a website from not loading. So um, the one downside about this web browser is that you may not be able to get all the, the fancy Google Chrome extensions that you usually do be and that is simply because of the fact that uh, lots of plugins basically can leak your you know your privacy your IP address and, and things like that so it's for s security purposes that it doesn't let you uh, let's just uh, load a video here um, and you can see there's a download button it immediately it you tells you a notification um, so yeah it lets you download the video in uh, up to seven it looks like up to 720p HD here um, that's probably so you can actually you can get a whole bunch of uh, formats some of them don't have audio but yeah so you can get uh, a, a myriad of formats so uh, yeah the point is that this web browser is a must-have for anybody who's worried about their privacy and this is not to say that you shouldn't use other security measures if you have a VPN go ahead and use that that will just only add another extra layer of security uh, you know it's just about how y your willingness to give up some of your convenience of being able to browse quickly and use some of the plugin web browsing plugins um, that determines how many what tools or how many you want to use so you know your mileage may vary uh, the website to download it at is uh, this browser is, again it's for free is www.epicbrowser.com and that's all one word and it will take you right to the website unfortunately there's no mobile version of this web browser yet but if you click the download link here you can see they have uh, Windows executable and oh, they, they uh, cancel that download. So they have Windows and Mac versions. Uh, you can see all the good reviews that it got. And uh, on the website, it goes into uh, specific detail onto how it protects you. So if you go to the key features, there are multiple things that it does to protect your privacy and privacy is the selling point of this web browser and you know it's free so by selling point I mean uh, this is what it was made for so uh, yeah so you there's an extensive list of things that it this web browser does to protect your privacy and uh, it would make this video way too long to to go through every one of them but uh, this is just a uh, you know public service announcement that this is a, a this is a web browser that everybody should be using if they are worried about their privacy online so uh, uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this video helps you